Okay, so number four. So I'm going to do the same thing. I want to find the area of this shape. I'm going to, again, draw a rectangle around it. Okay, that last one didn't come out so great. Did it? All right, um, so there's my rectangle around it. And then I'm going to find the area of the shape in the middle. So the um, area of the inside shape. Area of the inside shape is going to equal <clears throat> the area of the whole rectangle minus all the missing parts. All right, that's the game plan. The area of the inside shape, that strange inside shape, is going to be the whole rectangle subtract the missing parts. So what's the whole rectangle? Well, the whole rectangle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, you count jumps, not dots. So it's seven jumps and one, two, three, four, five. Five jumps. So seven jumps by five jumps. So seven jumps tall, five jumps wide. So the area of the inside shape, seven by five, 35. So you can see it. You can, again, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with seeing. That's what's so valuable about geo boards. You can touch and see actual area and length physically. Very helpful to sink these concepts in for younger so folks. There they are. See, it's five rows of seven or seven rows of five, however you want to say it. It's 35 squares. There are 35 squares in that rectangle. That's why area of a rectangle is one side times the other. It makes sense. Okay, now let's, um, oh wait, I put this in the wrong spot, didn't I? It's supposed to be right here, sorry. Right here, area of the whole rectangle, seven by five, 35. Okay, so, so the inside shape is gonna be 35, subtract all the stuff that's missing. So what's all the stuff that's missing? Well, a bunch of weird shapes. Let's, let's go after it. So I'll start down here. So starting down here, this, um, or I'll start on the right side. This is a base of one height. Let me see, what is that height? It count jumps, again, not dots. One, two, three, four, four jumps, and this is one, so it's one by four. When one times four is four, half of that, remember we always take half, because the triangle formula is half a base times height. So that, is two, and that makes sense. If you actually look at it, there's four squares there. So the diagonal cuts that in half. So that triangle is half of the four, it's two. It's exactly two squares, that makes sense. How about the triangle up here? This one is one by three, isn't that three? One, two, three by one, yeah. And then you just multiply those together. One times three is three, half of three. 1.5, you could physically see it. Okay, coming over here, this one is, um, what is this one's base is, um, let me kind of count, one, two, three, four by one, two, four by two. So this is four, the height is two. Then you multiply those together, two times four is eight, but then take half of that, four. You can physically see by drawing. See, there's four. Whoop, wait, did I not go? Oh, I didn't go far enough. You got to go all the way to the end of the triangle. There we go. Eight squares, and this triangle is half of the eight. It's four. Okay, now what about this up here? This is a weird shape. We should cut it, shouldn't we? We should cut it right there to make it easier. Oh, and there. Yeah, that'll make it a lot easier. There's probably other good ways you could cut it, but that looks good. So, um, this part is counted as one, two, three by one, two, three. So it's three by three. So this is three by three. And then three times three is nine, half of nine, half of nine dollars, four dollars and fifty cents. Because it's a triangle. This rectangle right here is three by two. Right? Again, one, two, three jumps. Count jumps, not dots. And one, two jumps. Three by two is six. And I don't take half. 
I just keep the straight six because that's a rectangle, not a triangle. It's just one side times the other. And you can see it physically, right? This is actually six squares. Whereas the triangle here, right? If, you know, if I did the whole rectangle, that'd be nine, three by three. And this triangle is half a nine, half a nine dollars, 450. So he has exactly four and a half squares. One more to go. I got to do this guy. And that guy I've already got, basically. He's... um. He's one, he's one this way and one, two that way. He's one by two is two, half a two. He's a triangle, though, gotta do the half. Half a two is one. He's exactly one square, is he? Is he really? Yeah. Look at right here. Here's two squares, and he's cutting that in half. Half of two squares is one square. Okay, so we got all the missing parts. So the area inside, area of the shape. Side is 35 minus all that stuff. Minus 6, minus 1, minus 1.5, minus 4.5, minus 4, minus 2. Make sure you didn't miss any. I'm going to double. I'm going to count them. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 things. Looks good. So it's uh, I'm just getting scribbly here. 35 minus, if you add all these up on your calculator, you're going to get 12, 16, 19, I think, 6, 7, 13, 17, 18, 19, yeah. So that equals what? Uh, 16. Yep. So the answer is 16. So the area of the shape inside must be 16 because then if you add all these guys up i'm sure it totals 35. so the shape inside must have exactly 16 squares in it there we go